No, don't tell them. Don't they don't tell need to know. They can go to my vlog and find out. No, just kidding. <laughs> Watch Joel's walk. I don't know what to tell you. Everything else is going to be a surprise from here on in. Good morning, this is I, and I'm here with. Hi, I'm busy driving. Can't look He's at the camera. Busy driving. Joel's driving, and so he uh, has a work gig from his business, and we are headed down to it. And I'll tell you more about it when we get down there. But it's supposed to be a 50-year storm today, so we're driving in the rain. So there's a lot of factors that go into helping someone with suicide. I'm sure we've all been there in some way. We've had someone in our lives impacted us with thoughts, with feelings, with, with attempts. Um, I've had two people that I know in my life personally that have died from suicide. Part of the reason I do this is because they were going to the same church I was going to, and one of them, the wife, was telling me that they weren't getting any support. She was telling them, he was telling them, and it was that, let's just pray, here's a Bible verse. And it wasn't enough for him to, to see that there was another way, like Terry. Having someone in her life who can tell her, there is another way, let's find out what it is for you. Joel just finished his presentation. Um, the church is super duper cute. This is the little building we were in. You see how cute the building is? It's adorable. How was the presentation, Joel? It was great. I had a great turnout, great amount of people. Can I tell them about the website? Can, can I plug? Yeah, go okay. plug. So it's called Hope for Shame. It's a mental health awareness for churches organization. And we have a website. It's www.hopeforshame.com. Hope and so I did for shame. Show, like the number four. <laughs> and uh, so I did a presentation on suicide prevention. It went really well. Really good turnout. Really positive feedback about it. So Yay. two thumbs up. All right. So the deal is we wanted to catch up with some of the other vloggers we have not seen. You are Turn loud. Turn to South 43rd Street for Southwest 40. Shh. She's Sir, giving it all Honestly, away. sorry. She's giving it away. We are going to try to see some of the vloggers that we haven't seen since, uh, since, oh my gosh, we haven't seen them since Vlogger Fair, which was over a year ago. So we're excited. We're going to hopefully get to see them. It's also supposed to be a 50-year storm today, which it isn't happening right now. It is not storming at all. So when I say 50-year storm, like we're going to have this storm for 50 years, like Game of Thrones, winter is coming. Is like that what the they worst mean? storm in 50 oh. years. But I feel like I was like, ooh, I'm in like an action adventure book. Winter is coming. <laughs> 50. The best, the worst storm in 50 years. That's all they're saying. <laughs> so we are going to hopefully uh, get meet up. We know we're going to see Aaron from Unfound Family, and we're hoping to see Super Fun Kate Day. And we are going to. You see it? You see it? It's right there. It's right there. What is that? <gasps> Kia. We have to say it like that the rest of the day. I'm in love with the girl named Ikea. <laughs> and uh, so we're just wandering so far. We've uh, we found stuff we wanted. It would kind of be a cool vlogging couch because it has a nice design. It is like a vlog. Oh, it would be a good vlogging couch. The lighting is really good. It's a big green pillow. This is actually, you know what? I think this oh, yeah, this is it right here. See? This is your vlogging spot this now? This is the vlogging spot. Look, you can well all look at that lighting. Look at that lighting. This is some good lighting right here, guys. Nothing. <laughs> it's called nothing. Okay, how much is this? Like Pac-Man, but larger. There's way too many witnesses. Yes, what were you going to do? I saw Nothing, that. nothing. I was up to nothing. Gee. <laughs> this one right oh. here. Oh, this See, man I caught her. So she was going to do something with one of those balls there. I don't know. I was hoping to throw it between you and Aaron into the basket, but my aim's not that good. Look at these. If you want to, you can lay on a manhole cover. A robot, or a turkey, or a Joel as a scarecrow of some sort. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Black. black. It's Lacho Black, and then there's Lacho White. I so. See. They're like crows I, or something. I think it's supposed to be a bat or a crow. Already so, had a recall. So no, no cape for you. You can have ears and you can have shoes. But no cape for you. But no cape for you. No cape for you. And if you'd like to be a snail head. You can be a snail head. You can be a snail head. Or a slug head. Every kid I know has to come up to me and they said, you know, you say, what do you want to be for Halloween? And they're just like, I want to be a snail head. 
then totally. you're like, where am I going to find a snail hood costume? Now you know. Now you know. Ikea has Ikea. a snail hood costume because so many kids want to be snail heads. I'm going to be waiting for one at Halloween to come to my door, trick-or-treating in the snail head. <gasps> Tambourine! Ooh, that doesn't sound cool. Oh, there's been a recall here, too. So many recalls. Joel's looking for a stool, so he needs to sit on all of them and test their their seat worthiness. I've just, I'm Goldilocks. This one's too firm. This one's too soft. This, whoa, this one's wobbly. And that one, <laughs> that one's too wobbly. So I stopped to use the restroom and then I grabbed a cart and I lost both Joel and Aaron. So I'm lingering and lighting. Lost, lost soul. Will anyone save me? I don't know. We are on the couch by the women's bathroom in the marketplace. Oh man. This is like getting lost in the corn maze. Like you have a map, it means nothing. There are signs, they mean nothing. I'm still trying to find my way back to these guys. Ah. Four of us, all here. All here, Katie's yeah. here. It's a little reunion. It is. Water. Joel got food. <laughs> Hot work, awkward moment in the vlog. All right. Caught me as a meme. You're looking at the dermatology people Dr. pressing Dr. things out of your face. We've been face having so much fun talking. Floater were gross talks. So gross I'm the misfit talk. that doesn't have her vlogging camera. <laughs> so. Where's your phone? Oh, I guess Come it's on. full. It's full. I got a notice this morning saying I need I need to clear some Mine is off always it. full. So, it's yeah. Full. But I'm like, Mine I don't want to look at this full. great camera. Mine was only full when I yes, came back awesome from Italy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome camera. camera. Look at that. Oh, wow. oh that's distracting. <laughs> I feel like I everyone does. They start doing their hair and stuff when they see themselves. <laughs> it's great with braces so you can see. Like, like how she wears it in my teeth. That's one reason why Casey Neistat wears the sunglasses. That's it. So he can see, so he can look, look at, at the thing. thing. Talk we're talking about, about our plans for Vlogger Fair. It's coming up. We're getting all so excited since we met there. And we're still <laughs> friends a year later. Because I remember when we came to Vlogger Fair, and I came down the stairs, and Joel had already screamed at Chris Perillo. Hi, it's Chris <laughs> Perillo. Oh, my God. <laughs> And so we came down the stairs and Chris and Liz were standing there and it was like a receiving line at a wedding reception. They just <laughs> threw their arms around us and gave us huge hugs like we were long lost friends. Totally. And they hugged them and we came down and then I can almost see the whole thing. Ben and Becky were over there and I kind of stalked them and creeped them out. And then, <laughs> and then I turned around and saw Katie and oh, and the Schmoyers were vlogging right behind me. Over by you, where you were sitting. They were talking with me and, and they you were vlogging. vlogging and so I was vlogging. talking to them about Schmoyer. how I used this to vlog. Yeah. <laughs> and I was talking to, and so I, I started a conversation with Katie and a conversation with Aaron, and it's over a year later, and we're all still best of friends. <laughs> Out of the coincidence. Isn't that crazy that we're still friends through YouTube? Through YouTube. YouTube. Bringing us all together. <laughs> it's community. Vlogger fair. It is community. It is community. It's our support system, too. I mean, we're here for each other. It's kind of an amazing thing, considering I just think if I'd walked down the stairs and there have been different people at the bottom of the stairs, would I be great friends with them a year later? Right? Probably not. These ladies are exceptional. It's a support system. And talking it, about is. And it is. It is. And we've had some different resources different and different struggles. You know, and I used to be a foster parent. Erin is a foster yeah, parent. Like so, what do you guys think? Oh, I think I'm voting for formal wear. I go for, for the pinstripes. Stripes. I think the formal. But this is Washington. We need hipster. We need new. We need fun. Because yeah, I could do a man bun. <laughs> you can and do a man bun I now. I can do a man a bun one? now. Huh? A little one. I can do a little man bun. See. So which? So, which, cool. so what do you think? I'm, I'm looking more towards this one. I'm thinking the gray pinstripe. What do you think? Ooh. You think? <laughs> oh yeah. I um, desperately need a salad spinner, and they have salad we'll spinners. Oh, he's about. sharing. Our stuff goes together like? though. Joel, will you demonstrate the salt spinner? My hammer is oh. in my hand. Just spin it. Let's see. Oh, my hand's in There we go. There we go. It's like a DJ. Uh, I'm DJ Salad Spinner. Good lighting. <laughs> yes, we like it. We love the good lighting. <laughs>
Because it is really good lighting. <laughs> it is really good. I love it. Can I take this home? Free nine ninety nine. So all mine. Wow. Just come to Ikea and then take a picture with us behind you and be like, I'm in Paris! And then if you want to go to like say, I'm on the top of the, I'm on the top of the Empire State Building! <laughs> no one would know. From this angle, you're on the beach. Sure. You can travel the world. You can travel. Why we don't hang out more? We have to figure that out. This is so fun. Why don't we hang out more? Hey guys, super fun, Kate. <laughs> the best thing about being with your friends is important conversations like how you can get a Costco hot dog without a membership. <laughs> how you get funny for college. Yeah, we did talk about important <laughs> stuff too. I didn't get to film tomorrow. saying goodbye to Katie. Katie, yeah, it was so nice to see you. I'm so glad yes. you hung out with us. Erin's here, she's done. We're we're all very done. How many hours were we in Ikea, Joel? Four and a half. Four and a half. <laughs> Four and a half hours in Ikea. We're ready to go home. Oh, this is my haul. The salad spinner. These canisters for my bathroom. That's where I'm actually gonna put them. I'm gonna use them all year. And some wrapping paper. There's my entire haul. Erin did better. She's I got better. cinnamon rolls in there. It's I not see necessarily them. a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> she has more food stuff in hers. Yeah, I bought a bunch of food. She bought we have sheets. Nice, color. nice color. Very good. You got your we apron. We got an apron and, your stool. and a stool with a cushion. Nice. To sit on when I'm doing like talking head kind of vlogs. I'm going to reiterate how nice it was to see my friends. They're awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad that I stepped in off of the curb into water fair and met them on water day so it's just a big deal to me i'm so glad we got to hang out